Jeopardy has finally returned to its classic format after the longest stretch of tournaments in its history, but a victory lap wasn't on the board for Lucas Partridge. Lucas, the three-day champ from a whopping eight months ago, flopped a clear-cut final Jeopardy clue along with his foes, making way for a new champ. The Jeopardy Invitational Tournament concluded with a nail-biting finale just last night as Victoria Gross emerged victorious. With her hard-earned win, Jeopardy, fans all breathed a sigh of relief as tournament plays over until next year. Wednesday marked the debut episode of Fresh Faces, with everyday contestants gracing the stage for the first time since last summer. As Ken Jennings playfully pointed out, the Las Vegas school counselor now holds the record for the longest reigning champ ever, having last appeared in July 2023 winning $66,200 total. Lucas went head-to-head -head against Daniel Rosenberg, a lawyer from New York, New York, and Lee Wilkins, a regulatory affairs coordinator from Auburn, Alabama. After the Jeopardy round, Lucas had $3,600 Daniel led with $4,600 after snagging the first daily double, while Lee trailed at $0. In double Jeopardy, Daniel split both remaining daily doubles, answering the second one correctly but stumbling on the third. The scores wound up jarringly low to those used to tournament Titan, with an astonishing 15 triple stumpers and some clues left untouched for the first time this season. Lucas maintained a narrow lead heading into final Jeopardy with $7,600 followed closely by Daniel with $7,200 and Lee with $5,200. Under the category animated film characters, the final Jeopardy! clue read, in this 2017 film, Dante is a hairless breed known as a Zolo dog. None of the contestants could muster the correct response Coco, and Lee secured the win by wagering the lease earning $2,200. It is what it is. I'm legitimately shocked that the final Jeopardy today was a triple stumper. It really felt like a shoe in question, at least to me, one Redditor wrote. Cliff Clavin on today's FJ responses, who are three people who don't own Disney+. Plus. Another quipped. Longtime Pixar fan here, heart snapped that nobody knew such a clear-cut FJ, lamented a third. Speculation arose among fans about whether Lucas's extended hiatus had negatively impacted his momentum. It seems unfortunate the long break during his run took a toll on Lucas's gameplay. Sad to see as a former Vegas native myself, but hey, it is what it is, wrote another. However, a fifth countered, my thinking is exactly opposite. Lucas had months of preparation time, knowing he was coming back. The only thing a long layoff would affect is buzzer timing, and that wouldn't account for 15 triple stumpers. A sixth wrote, it seems like this game was an abrupt dose of the reality that we are back to having mere mortals playing Jeopardy after watching trivia gods on our screens with TOC and JIT. To which someone replied, mere mortals playing Jeopardy is fundamentally what Jeopardy has always been about though.